set within the uh, game that you guys at home are playing live right now on the uh, live realms. Of course, you've all been getting your placement matches, everybody raging uh, that they didn't, they're not as good as they thought they were. <laughs> it seems to be the uh, grand scheme of things. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, I should be much higher. And then you realize actually the best player in the world is 83. And you're like, oh, okay. Uh, to be fair, so I got lower. ranked the same rank as the tank for Creation Esports unlocked. Yeah? Yep. So what that? So either that means he's terrible or I'm so amazing. So you didn't say the score? Oh, 58. 58. Right, I ranked 58 out of placements. So that's not too but bad. I'm 62 at the moment, but not I haven't had bad. tons of time to play. Yeah, and it's a, it's a win per thing. I, I was awful. I think I got a 48 because I had two disconnects. One was my own. Good old Unity Media just totally went down. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and then my team almost, almost won 5v6. But uh, anyway, that aside, obviously these things happen in real life. But let's talk about this game. The amazing game that is going to be Pretz up against Fortress. It is going to be Fortress on the defenses. Let's see if it works out for them on Hollywood. They've just played it against the other team. And we score the laps for both teams for you guys. For Pretz, since it's the first time seen him probably for today, we have Faizu, Mistakes, Nalair, Tonic, Boohor, we're going to call him, because apparently his name is actually completely different than what you see, and Claws is the last person on their side. For Fortress, we have Slasher, Clanton, Mufu, Forsaken, Shadowburn, and Pronic. And so far, Shadowburn is going to be playing on his Pharah, trying to zone them out. Oh, Faizu trying to get around the side there, trying to get the flanking maneuver. He's got La with him as well. We saw, obviously, already how good the Farah mercy combo can work out for Shadowburn and Slasher. Of course, they're trying the same themselves. Forsaken almost, almost hooking Faizu out of the air. But Shadowburn back on his Farah. Obviously, they had a switch. Forsaken, like you said, went on the Farah for a while while Shadowburn went on Genji. But they felt like going back to it this time around. We'll see where they switch out. Slasher's been picked off by Nla. That's, the, that's a big kill coming through because Slasher actually had his ultimate up and running. So Pretz on a good attack so far. Reaper's going head to head, but obviously Pretz are going to have healing versus them not. That's going to be the Reinhardt completely picked off out of position. The charge came in. And, well, this is going to be the point being captured. No doubt about that one. Big mistakes made there, I feel, from the defenses of Fortress. Maybe a bit of fatigue setting in. Maybe. I mean, to be fair, both teams have been playing the equal amount today, but Pretz had a nice little bit of a break. Um, from their last match to this one. So, nice little bit of a, a time for them to work out any kinks, maybe also watch Fortress's game and be prepared for what they're going to be going for. And now Fortress has switched up. They switched up to Double Soldier and leaving Shadowburn on Ferris. So this is going to be extremely hard for any Reinhardts to hold this top ground. Yeah, Faizu just realized it as well. As soon as he showed himself up that Double Soldier shooting at him is going to tag him down pretty low. He needs to make sure Mistakes doesn't go too high on the Mercy in behind him so they're struggling to get the high ground away from the fortress defenses good adaption is it going to be enough that's the question well, Faizu it's going to be a, a tall order for him to actually beat Shadowburn 1v1 in the air or even 2v2 and Shadowburn has proven to be such a strong fair probably one of the strongest fairs actually in Europe at the moment and we're going to come in towards the top side look for Buhor he's not able to get him and Faizu is even able to actually get away with his life, or at least Shadowburn has been able to overextend just a little bit too far. Yeah, good work though to back away from it. There's the Reaper ultimate coming through nicely, mixed with the Earth Shatter though, but it doesn't net himself too many kills. That is not going to work out from Faizu. I thought he was about to take down Shadowburn, but managed to jink his way through there, the ulti, and still keep himself alive. But the rest of his team were taken down, which means the payload is moving, but they are not completely cleared out. Here we go. Here's the ulti from Clanton. This is going to be dangerous too. The Gravitas are just pulling them completely through, but Clanton has a shield from his teammate. Claus is just going to smack him down with his fist and able to pick up the kill. Picks up two. Faizu picks up two, and that's just Forsaken basically by himself uh, with him and Shadowburn alone to defend this point. They're going to have to give it up, and Pretz are on a steamroll. Absolutely flying through this map. Somebody needs to tell them times don't matter, but I don't think they really care right now. Forsaken, he's in a good flanking position. Just actually, I'll tell you, he was all the way back. He was in a good flanking position. He's just back completely off. So, well, five and a half minutes to make the final push. That is a long time to try and hold this point. I think Fortress may already be realizing this could be going the distance this game. I think I have a lot of work ahead of them here and Nalara actually pushed up relatively far on this Reaper but with the Wraith Walk is able to get away. Not too big a deal. The double soldier going to be taken away from though as Clanton switching to the Reaper himself. But Shadowburn, he's got his barrage available. Faisu and Shadowburn actually haven't really gone head to head just yet. But Faizu's been able to pick up the majority of the kills compared to his counterpart and looking to back away around the corner. Oh, that's a great use of Blast to get around. 
Oh, Forsaken pushes, the rest of the team all come through. Clanton gets just the one kill. That was all that came from that one. And that was on the Roadhog. So not that successful a push. Clanton's trying to flank around the side. I was about to switch across to him, but he's already backing out there in the Wraith form. So still, while they managed to push in, they didn't really net themselves much results there. Now Faizu's ready to go with his barrage. Yeah, they didn't really get anything off that, I think. And Faizu, he just looked for the opportunity. I think he's saving it for now, waiting for them to actually funnel through a choke area. Nice. And I see the last man That's down. Easy. The revives. Oh, and Major Eva comes through. And now is going to have the opportunity to actually rain justice upon him. Picks up one kill. Not able to get much more than that because Nalar's already there to pick up more. Oh, Slash is going to get picked off midair from Faizu there. And that will be the checkpoint reached in a very quick time from yeah. Pretz there. No messing around. Fortress are going to have themselves a game on their hands. Now, can they mirror what Pretz just managed to do? Just under six minutes to finish that one, too. But just to uh, reiterate for you guys, remember, time is not based off that. It's based off the new competitive mode. However, if there's a tie, each team, at least at this stage of the best of three, will be netting one point each. And then if we have any ties towards the third map, or towards the third and final map, that means we'll be going to a tiebreaker map on Ilios. So... Let's see what we're going to get from the defensive side. Of course, it will be now, once they spawn in, it will be the turn of Pretz. And it's looking like we're going to have a Symmetra coming out this time around. So Symmetra, along with La, who we'll see whether he sticks onto Far or not once they spawn in. Looks like they will be. Okay. Going to be boosting Symmetra out there. We'll see whether Klaus decides to stick with Lucio, whether he runs back. Uh, I suspect he might do. Faizu. We'll be playing once again on the Faro. Worked very well, certainly that time around. Buhu Padura also on good old Roadhog, who we've seen a lot of tonight. A lot of Roadhog. Yep. Roadhog's definitely, we were talking about it earlier, obviously, with the uh, changes to McCree. It's almost give uh, a Roadhog a new lease of life, effectively, because he can't just get uh, double right click down, effectively, which was, which was killing him so fast, mm -hmm. so fast before. Mistakes is going to be on Mercy, and of course, Claus, there we go, has gone back and switched to the Reinhardt. Yeah, I like that. I should like that better than Zarya. So we, we talked about looking impeding, you know, look at uh, position in general. A Reinhardt offers you a lot more control with just a shield alone in a choke point than like, a Zarya Roadhog will because you just look at them like, oh, they have no shield to stop us, we can push in and kill them. Whereas a, Road, uh, a Reinhardt, you have to be a little bit more careful and a little bit more respectful of the space that he does control. Does a hell of a lot of damage with his hammer swings, or his rocket hammer swings. But where's Clanton, actually? Because he's playing Widowmaker. Mm. And he's looking to push in. Remember, we just saw them play against other team, and his Widowmaker was absolutely astonishing on Hollywood. Let's see, he's going to hook himself up there. Oh, lands the shot. Not the kill, though, on Faizu. Tags him down enough. Going to spin around. He's looking to try and get those shots onto the far and mid air. Oh, so close to landing it. Tags him once again, but still not getting that headshot. Not getting that all important headshot. Has to be careful he doesn't get hooked in as well. That far is still no pick. No initial pick. That's what they're waiting for. The go time signal. Does manage to fling himself up once again. Continues to build that ulti up. Get that infrasight. Give himself all the vision he needs. And that's when they're going to find that Symmetra. That was very, very dangerous from Faizu. Almost all I could see was the head. But uh, luckily for him, he actually doesn't have it taken off. And Faizu is able to get healed up by his teammates and hold. So we've seen now quite a bit of time with no real attack on a fortress just yet. They're really hoping for Clanton to pick up these kills. The Infrasight comes in, so now they know the defensive position out of Pretz. Now they're going to push in, looking for that Mercy in towards the back right side if they can rush him down. But Shadowburn's already been killed. Buhor yeah. has been able to hook him. And that's going to slow this attack right down. Remember, points, speed, it doesn't matter. It's all about simply closing out the map. And they will tie the first map with Pretz. But Pretz holding solid. Clanton's going to go for a switch. Let's see what he switches off to. Is it going to be a soldier? No, it's going to be a reaper. Shadowburn, meanwhile, as you mentioned, got picked off, Ooh. hooked. And that seems to be the counter these days, the the, the hog hook. Yeah, it's, well, it's just the fact that Ro Roadhog has the like the one-shot mechanic of the hook and the, and the instant left click to kill with the melee. Where it used to be McCree with the flash ping and the right click. Uh, that's just making him so strong, not to mention, like I said, pulling out Ferris from the sky is extremely deadly. Now, Shadowburn, he's going to fall again. Prize yeah. who picks up the kill. He's been able to win out heavy-handedly so far on this defending side. And the Barrage coming in from the top! It oh. kicks on so many of them, it's going to force them back. And Fortress are going to have a failed attack yet again. That was so, so well set up by Faizu. Just simply is like, oh, oh, five of them all on one patio. I'll take the lot down. 
Easy, easy stuff there. So, 1 minute 38 to go, and they have not made a single dent on this attack yet. Honestly, if, if Pretz win this, like this whole series, this will change my view of them completely. Because we see them in the Go For series, they haven't really been, or they haven't been bad, but they haven't been something we've been like, wow, and astonished about. But seeing the be Fortress potentially in a 2-0 would be kind of that for me. But here we go, Shadowburn pushing in with the help of Soundberry. Doesn't kill Faizu, his opponent, just yet. Looking towards the backside, uses the barrage onto one oh, no. person, and practically kills himself with Faizu coming in. Didn't get the Mercy down so crucially there. Shadowburn, though, landing the rockets on towards that. Graviton Surge pulling them all in. And finally, is it going to be enough? No. One minute once again on the clock, they have a teleporter. but it's enough. They've got it. No teleporter. Yep. Oh, I mute myself. That was that was a mistake. That wasn't the but I was. <laughs> to ask, I was about to cough, but I was, did a little too early. I can cough now. Do it. <laughs> I thought you were going to force it. Anyways, so Fortress have been able to capture the point. It took them a hell of a long time, and they have three minutes and forty seconds left to work with. Now push it into the wild, wild west set area. Wickety You're seeing wild. them. Hmm? Wickedy wild. Yeah, Will Smith wild. Uh, we have Claws looking to position towards the top side with the shield. Allowing Buhor, who switched over from Roadhog to Soldier, only running one take now, to allow him to chip away at any shields and also Shadowburn in towards his top side. Which, Shadowburn's staying relatively healthy though, from all this. Yeah, not really landing those shots, not really showing himself, but he has got uh, that shield to hold out. Now, they're going to get himself some of the top ground, but of course you can see Slasher getting picked off. Not really hidden away here. How he lives so long is beyond me, but he does finally get taken down by Buhu. Immediately going to go straight towards Shadowburn, force him out, take control of the skies, and you can see just how much they're flanking around the entire team. Well, Shadowburn actually got two directs on the Faizu and able to actually pick up the kill on him, but because of them securing the kill on a Slasher, they decided to push and get extremely aggressive. The <laughs> mistakes! The fadeaway headshot kill on the Shadowburn while the Barrage is being used. He secures the kill onto him. He's got his ultimate online now. And they're going to hold. Of all people on Shadowbone as well, who's been magnificent throughout, you could just see almost the panic in his eyes. It's just like, no, no, not like this, not yeah. like this. Yeah, that's the worst. Because it does so much damage. I mean, the, don't, you can't discredit that gun. It does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Battle so, Mercy, man. <laughs> he's just, he's like, right, that's it. <laughs> Kinji, it is. Forsaken, far as all yours, I'm going in. And that, that mistakes is not going to survive. Everyone's got to be careful. He's going to have to actually just dash, dash away when he gets charged by the entire enemy team. But the thing is, his team's still pushing the payload. The Barrage is coming out of Faizu. He's going to get hooked in. He's still uh -oh, not dead, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mistakes. Oh, he lives. No, he goes down at the end there. The Fade Shuriken. But he also got caught with the Earth Shatter, but he manages to survive it. Now he's going to get himself on the back of the Lucio. Tries to pull him away. Tonic gets to get taken down. The rest of his team come in, and the payload is on the move. That's right, so a Fortress. Best case scenario for them is actually finish this map so they can keep it tied at one apiece as they move into the next map. Of Pretz. Still a minute 35 left to go. The, the, the checkpoint's been actually picked up, so they have actually two minutes on the clock. So it doesn't really matter if Pretz does wipe them here, but it comes down to the final hold coming into the, uh, the last area. Well, Mufu managing to defend there. It's always nice to pick up a kill on the Lucio, especially when it is on a Reaper that's about to ulti you. About to Death Blossom, so... A little less time, of course. We saw Pretz have around about six minutes to close this out here. Three minutes on the clock. Still plenty of time for them to make the push. Good amount of ulties on both sides, though, ready and waiting to go. Shadowburn, of course, has that Dragon Blade, which we'll try and keep our eye on as he comes around the side. Almost picked off the Reaper straight away. It's just basically about mistakes, not doing what his name says, not making a mistake in his positioning. If he gets pulled in by a Graviton Surge, that's basically going to wipe him. And they're gonna they're end up tying things up. If he can stay alive and not get pulled in by this, then he has a good revive where they can actually back it up uh, with a, with a hold. Well, that's gonna be the ulti coming out from Shadow Verm. He's got mistakes down. That was all he needed. There's the big resurrect coming through as well, and the payload continues to move. They work away on towards the Reinhardt. The Reinhardt picked off in the air. Klaus also is gonna get dropped. Now the hog is gonna be the next focus. He gets dropped easily, and Farah Faizu hooked in the air and magnificently taken down. Is there gonna be enough? Are they going to make one last push? Well, the Reaper did stall. Uh, Nalara plus the Reaper out of mistakes. Actually bought them a lot of time. Ufa tried to take down the Farah in the sky, not to mention force away uh, Buhor, but they've held. Two minutes left to go. It's not over just yet. Fortress do have extra opportunities. But you saw Shadowburn, the focus he had in that last fight. He took down mistakes. And from that, they're trying to snowball the fight. But unfortunately, they couldn't kill the people in time. And Nalara held on long enough uh, with his Wraith form and his ultimate just to kind of stall to allow mistakes to get the revive. So, 
One minute 40 on the clock to close out this game. Now they had a plethora of ultis in that previous fight. They're going to have just the one, and it is an important one. It is Slasher. He's got to position himself well. Mistakes, though, will not if they push quick enough. Only 50%. Clanton Wraith forming his way up there, so he's getting the high ground as well. He's going to get boosted. It's double Reaper, actually. They decided to take away from the Reinhardt, which makes things... Oh, it's Pronic, yeah. Even more difficult, because Forsaken's their solo tank. That's tricky. Okay, we'll see how it works out. That's going to be a big swing. Shadowburn gets himself one. That's Faizu going down around the backside. Here comes Clanton. They want to deal with that hog, and they do heal deal with the hog. Now, look, they've got the set sights on towards the Mercy, but instantly knocked away. Beautiful work there from Tonic to bounce him away, but Mistake still gets picked off nonetheless, and he's doing some serious work around the back. Now, Shadowburn, he's got that Dragon Blade working, managing to rip through the team. Still yet to get Faizu down, and the hog keeps him off the point, but there we go. That is going to be a draw on map number one, Hollywood. All right, so we're going to see a tie between both teams, one apiece in points. And we'll be going on to the next map, which well, we don't know what it is because we're going to have to use a coin toss to determine...